Just take two of this video because I, because <laughs> I stammered for about 40 seconds straight there on my last one. A uh, little bit of a format change here. We, I, I got to look into my videos and realizing that I just couldn't deal with that shake as I was driving. And I looked on Amazon and I looked on uh, some blog websites to look for, you know, dashboard mounts or dashboard cameras that had stability features on them. But it, it wasn't worth the price to me. So I decided, what about I got to drive while I, while I make the while I make a 10 minute video, I can, I can stop and take 10 minutes and on the days where I'm in too much of a rush, I won't have a video that day. So, uh, the, I, I'm in a little spot here, just uh, almost home and we call it cozy curve here locally where it's nice and quiet. So I should be able to sit and talk and have access to both of my hands, which is cool. Cause I know that I wasn't able to correctly demonstrate things, talk about things. I was kind of limited by the fact that I had to keep one hand at the wheel at all times. And I'm sure my, insurance is going to really enjoy the fact that I'm not vlogging while driving although I never touched anything I never kept took my eyes off the road really I, I drove as safe as possible while I was filming <coughs> excuse me um, so today it is day 21 it's December 18th and I want to say it's about maybe 55 out I don't have my car on so I can't see the the temperature but it's probably about 55. Uh, it was a pretty good day today. Uh, we dug for a majority of the day. We actually really just dug all day. Uh, started off the day, I was I woke up a little bit late. And I didn't want to speed getting into work. I probably could have got there. I mean, I was like three or four minutes late, which I don't even know that my boss noticed that he really pays attention. I just realized I did forget to clock out, though. So I got to go back and change that. Uh, anyways, I woke up a little bit late. was in a rush. I <laughs> was kind of thinking about everything I got to put on. Starting from the bottom, I've got shoes, socks, long johns underwear, pants, long john tops, t-shirt, FR shirt, belt, pouch, hoodie, suspenders, coat, hat. Like I got a lot of stuff to put on in the morning before I leave. And I like to try to keep that stuff kind of sitting in a pile whenever before, while I'm getting ready for bed the night before. But I didn't have that pile made up this morning. So we, I woke up late and I had to do all that. So that got me out of, out of the house late. <clears throat> got <clears throat> man got to work and we just like I said we, we kind of just dug all day so we took the first 20 minutes to kind of just talk things out figure out what exactly it was we were going to do what our plan was and then we got all of our, our tools and supplies ready and went over so we've been working on this long run that was about 450 feet and what it is is it's two runs of two inch pipe that go pretty much straight they've got some natural curves and bends to them just because of how we had to aim them they kind of offset a little bit uh but it's enough to where we we don't need a pull box in the middle of them you know we're not doing a full loop or an oxbow or a curve or anything in them we're not using any 90s or 45s um just a natural curve is is all that we're doing and then, but we, so we dug today probably a hundred feet. Now let's see, we brought 50 feet. We had 30 feet. So yeah, we dug about a hundred feet, about 95 feet today. The whole time I, I wasn't in the excavator. Uh, Jose was in the excavator and he digs real, real slow and real easy, but real gentle, which is nice. He's not taking out big scoops and he, he's not hitting anything. And then while he's digging, I've got this probe, which is a T-shaped probe that has a kind of a rounded point on the end. And basically my job is he makes his... So like here's the here's the curve of the of his of that his blade is making it's it's about eight feet long and I just have to take that probe and just stab 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 just a bunch of times and the goal is to hit a soft spot if I hit a soft spot that means it's somewhere where the earth is not naturally packed and that means that there's something underneath it well there is a layer of soft it's about see we were digging to thirty six inches so about twenty two inches I'd say maybe twenty inches there is a soft layer that. I really had to just kind of stab a bunch of times just to be safe and make sure there wasn't anything in there. But uh, he only scoops about two inches off at a time. Um, we dug that whole time. Once we were finished digging, we had to get into... Oh, you know what? Before we dug, actually, that's that's something that I forgot to mention. We borrowed a... like a, I guess it's a bobcat. I'm sure there's a name for it. I've heard it called skid steer, but... It's not on skids, it's got wheels, so I think it's just a bobcat. I'm not really sure the designation between, or the difference between those two. So, anyway, so we borrowed this bobcat. We kind of have to wing it. Like, Jose has driven it before, or driven one before, and I've driven one before, but neither of us really knew 100% what we were doing. But we got, got on this bobcat, 
figured out how to run it, drove it over, switched out the front end attachment. It had a scoop on it. We needed to put forks on it, which was easy enough. Man, I was hoping the yawning would go away once I stopped, but I guess that's not going to happen. Um, <clears throat> put the forks on it because there was this steel that was in our right way, right where we needed to dig. And they're big steel. Let's see. My boss had a name for them. Perlins? They're, they're like they're they're like reinforcing beams, but they're not they're not thick steel. They're probably an eighth inch thick, maybe. It's not a whole lot. So we uh, we we picked those up and we moved those one by one with that. Oh, excuse me. With that heavy machine, once we got those moved, we started digging. After we dug, we took the two inches and we put them in the ground and. Uh, kind of covered them up with just a little bit with dirt. We went ahead and left it open because it was about 3.15 when we finished, so we didn't have a whole lot of time left for uh, to, to backfill. We're going to go in tomorrow and backfill and finish it. And well, I'm actually kind of glad we were running short because we almost glued the pipes together, and we weren't supposed to glue the pipes together. There's going to be a pull point there. So what we're going to have to do is tomorrow we're going to have to buy 490s and like 100 feet of like a hundred feet of pipe because we're gonna have to stub up these pipes for a quasi box and we might actually go ahead and put the quasi box in tomorrow um, we're gonna have to get some some gravel we're gonna have to if we do that we're gonna have to get some gravel for sure I'm not really sure how he wants us to do that because it takes several loads of gravel to get a quasi box leveled and put in there um, I, I think that's really all, all that we did today uh, not, not a whole lot happened we went to Taco Bell for lunch I had a what I have at Taco Bell. Chalupa Cravings box. I had a five five dollar box, and I really didn't use any tools today. Uh, the only tool I did use, which so it's the tool today by default, is actually still on my wrist, wrist my waistband. Is uh this Stanley Crescent wrench? Now, what I like about this Stanley Crescent wrench is um, it has actually like caliper labels both in millimeters and fractions of an inch it's hard to see on the camera but uh well i just use it today just as a crescent wrench and it's the only tool that i used throughout the whole course of the day because it was just a digging day so but uh, i i like these ones specifically uh this size because these teeth i think i've talked about this before these teeth fit perfectly in a half inch lock nut and so if you're working on a lock nut that's directly above you you know you open it up put it on the lock nut, tighten it down, and then you can just twist the lock nut like this, and it'll and it'll twist. It, it ends up, you, you gotta use two hands to do it, but if it's up above you, it's really nice, so you don't have to get out, you know, a um, number six screwdriver and a pair of lineman's pliers and beat on that lock nut. I've always hated that. <sighs> and then, yeah, so I, I feel like I like this format a little bit better where I'm stopping in the middle of the in the in, in, in the middle of my drive home and just kind of taking a break I'm able to think a little bit clear I'm able to use both hands I'll be able to go back to keeping notes I wanted to keep notes in my breast pocket but keeping notes that I could talk about during the day doesn't do anything while I'm driving because I can't <clears throat> I can't there, there's nothing for me to there's no way for me to read it essentially but all right, I think that's it for the day really I posted a lot of new stuff to Instagram. I'm about at about 100 Instagram followers, so I'm going to keep making videos, see where it goes. It's an open format right now, so who knows exactly how things are going to change from, from here on out. I'm, I'm excited to see how, how, I, uh, how I alter and change the course of this uh, project here. So I think that's it. Uh, have a good day. Keep learning. Keep, uh, keep, keep, keep working. That's the most important thing is just stay, stay busy. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.